welcome once again to another video of driving tv today i will share with you guys a video where i will be explaining and teaching you all that you need to know and practice when you first get started with your driving training many of you have left me comments and emails asking me how or where do they start what they should know or what they need to learn when they first start their driving practices so in this video, I will explain to you and show you in detail what it is that you will have to do first and things that you need to keep in mind. However, first I'd appreciate if you did subscribe to this channel. Also, give it a thumbs up so this video and this channel reaches many, many other people. Now, don't forget to also hit that notification bell so when I upload the next video, you won't miss out and you will get notified immediately. All right, so now pay very close attention because the following will be very crucial that you remember and learn. This is very important if you're going to begin your driving practices. Enjoy. In your first practice session, the most important thing is to start getting familiar with all of the controls of your vehicle. So the coordination among the steering wheel, the brakes, as well as the accelerator will be your main focus. I've had a lot of messages from people who want to start driving practices with a family member and they just don't know how to begin or where to begin. Well, the first thing, as I've said many times, is for you to sit in the driver's seat and learn all the adjustments and learn all the controls. Now, let's see the practice part where you begin driving. So when you are already sitting down in the driver's seat, let's go ahead and put our hands on the steering wheel in the correct appropriate way. You will always place the right hand on the time three and left hand on the time nine. Here I demonstrate the position and what it should kind of look like. Great, so let's proceed to look below where there's the brakes and the accelerator of the vehicle. But first, remember to always adjust the driver's seat in such a way that you feel most comfortable and able to reach the pedals of your vehicle with a, without a struggle or without having to extend your leg much. You will be using only your right leg to coordinate from the brakes to the accelerator and vice versa. Just like you see. So now pay very close attention to this following part because it is very important. So be very aware of this and if you need to rewind, go ahead. If you need to pause, go ahead. If you need to take notes, go ahead. The left leg should be left resting on the side because you won't be needing that leg to interact with the brakes nor the accelerator. We would only operate the pedals with our right leg. So now let's try an exercise to help you out. You will relax your right leg and allow for the back portion of your foot to rest up on the carpet of the vehicle. And you will try out this exercise with the vehicle on P parked. Next, what you're going to do is place your hands on the steering wheel, as I previously explained to you, and look forward. Point of this is for you to try to identify which pedal is which. Next, touch lightly the accelerator and then the brakes, and again. And you will continue doing this exercise looking forward in order for you to begin to get familiar with the pedals where they're located and which one is which. This exercise should be accomplished a few times, looking always forward and with your foot well rested and comfortable. Do not attempt to lift your foot completely off the floor because you will get tired and you won't be comfortable or even safe to drive. So keep trying this exercise until you feel confident and are able to distinguish between the accelerator and the brakes. Next, with the assistance of a family member or a friend, 
you will proceed in a straight line that is long in a street where there isn't much traffic so you can drive as safe as possible in a straight line and practice using your brakes and the accelerator slowly and gently. This is for you to get familiar with using the pedals of your vehicle and managing the steering wheel as well. You can very well begin in a parking lot. They have also enough space for you to practice driving. Point is to find a safe place for you to do this and always make sure that you have assistance of a family member or a friend with you who has a valid driver's license and could actually help you with a lot of patience. You will need to be practicing driving in a straight line first. And well, I need to say it's fundamental that you have enough practice as well with the accelerator and the brakes. You must get to the point where you feel confident and know exactly where the brakes are and where the accelerator is and how to use them comfortably. How you must carefully slowly press with your feet against the brakes until your vehicle starts slowing down and until it gets to the point that it completely stops. Not in a sudden way, but in a very, very smooth and gentle way. And also how you slowly accelerate your vehicle so it starts moving and gaining speed safely and gently. An exercise to do in practices is to find a street or a parking lot where you can actually drive in a straight line. So you place your vehicle in D drive, right? And then let go of the brakes softly. You need to learn that when your foot is on the brakes, it won't move. Now, as soon as you place your car on D drive, in order for your vehicle to move forward, you must let go softly of your brakes and it will start moving slowly forward without you even, not even accelerating it. This is what you will need to get familiar with, letting go gently of the brakes, and then learning how to move forward slowly and using your brakes again to stop. Next, you can practice accelerating, slowly by switching and placing your foot gently on the accelerator and pressing down to move forward. You will need to do this enough times until you get the hang of it, until you're able to understand how much pressure you need to place on each pedal for it not to be a sudden stop or acceleration. At first you will find yourself breaking hard and it will be very sudden. You will feel like it's very sudden as well as accelerating and that is quite normal believe me. You'll just need to practice a lot for the first few hours until you get the hang of it as I mentioned. Once you feel more confident, you will then proceed to learn how to do turns. In the next class, I will be teaching you guys techniques on how to easily make turns. Turns require a lot more coordination among the steering wheel and the pedals. However, this was a short video that I wanted to do to explain the first things that you will need mainly to focus on and how to get started in your driving practices. I did receive a few messages asking me how to get started with the driving practices and so that's why I decided to do this and give you guys this brief tutorial. Okay, so quick summary. You will first identify all of the controls of your vehicle. How to turn it on, seat adjustment, identify the pedals, how to appropriately place your hands on the steering wheel. You also need to learn to be familiar with the turning signal before proceeding with this practice. With that being said guys, the next video tutorial on how to make turns will be coming very very soon. So if you don't want to miss out, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you will be notified immediately. Remember, if you found this helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I truly appreciate your feedback. So your comments are more than welcome. Thank you and have an amazing day.